Hey everyone, today I want to share a script I created to import materials and textures from a Mac scene using V-Ray to Maya with Arnold. The script is quite simple and I'll be explaining each step. As a bonus I am also going to show you how to create variation in a combined model where you can't use color jitter or any randomization per object. So here's the tree model in Max. As you can see we have four different materials. And the model is combined into a single mesh. From here you can either export to FBX or use the send to Maya feature. Both will give you the same result. Ok, here's the model imported into Maya. We have four different Lamberts assigned to the mesh parts, from the trunk to the leaves. In Max we can check the type of material, which in, the, in this case is a V-Ray material. So we got only Lamberts with no maps or attributes transferred. Let's open the script editor, since we're going to need to use some sort of script to import all the associated maps. First we need to set a variable for the textures path, where, where the files are saved. Let's also create a list for all the possible channels the model might have. Now we want to save the selection of the model, splitting the vertex information. Selecting the materials with the hypershade command and saving it into a new materials variable. Create a for loop to go through each material. As you can see it's printing out the index and the respective material. Let's just create a variable with the current selection. And then get the shading groups. I am going to copy this part from the original code, where we go through each shading engine set and append to a list the selection of faces. Let's create now a standard shader with the following command, we can also name it accordingly. Now we'll select the faces and assign the newly created Arnold shader. Here we need to set the texture full path, starting with the map, maps path, then the name of the material, the channel and the extension at the end. You'll have to adapt this to your own naming conventions. In this case I know that the textures are named with the model name, plus the underscore channel. And of course we need to create this part of the code in a loop for each different channel. We need to check first if the file exists, which will prevent the code from creating opacity or translu translucency maps for materials that won't have those attributes. And of course prevent errors while setting the texture path in the file node, since the file might not exist. Now we'll need this create file texture function that I found online that basically creates a file and the associated place to detection nodes and does all the boring UV connections. Ok, for the albedo map check if the file exists and now create the file and place to the nodes. We might also need a color correct node for the albedo so let's create one. We need to connect the attributes which is pretty simple to do, set the nodes and attributes to be connected. Next you just need to connect the CC node to the base color of the shader and finally set the texture path in the file node. So for the glossiness we will need to invert the map since Arnold uses roughness and then connect the out color R to the specular roughness attribute. Also set the color space to raw since it's a non-color map. For the normal map we just create a normal map node and do the necessary connections, the most important being the out value of the normal map to the normal camera of the shader. By now you can see the pattern so it's the same workflow for opacity and translucency. For the translucency I am using SSS with the thin walls checked. 
And finally running the command we can see that it created all the materials, files and utility nodes. Let me qu quickly set up a render to check if everything is working. And it's looking ok, the result is what I expected, but the tree is looking quite boring. So let's, let's see in the next section how we can fix it quickly. So here in this setup scene I have a few color correction and noise nodes to give some life to the model. We start with an Arnold noise and then give it some contrast with the CC nodes. Then add some exposure to the initial texture file and in another CC node, masking out with the noise result, we remove some of the saturation. And using the same workflow, we create a CC node with some U shifting, exposure and saturation adjustments, again using a contrasted noise as a mask for the effect. And this is the result I got. For the little effort I put into it, I think it looks much better than the previous render. So that's it guys. I hope I did not bore you with more Python stuff, but I find it fun to create these simple scripts and acts to get the job done. Hopefully I can finish this project soon and move to something else. See you in the next video. Bye bye.